We are following breaking news in St. Paul, where in the past two hours, police released this body cam video showing Saturday's officer-involved shooting that sent a man to the hospital. Thanks for watching WCCO, also streaming on CBSM Minnesota. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily was at today's news conference, where the chief of police and mayor spoke about the incident and the action they've taken. Here's what we've learned. St. Paul Police Chief Todd Axel said he took swift and decisive action against the officer who fired upon a suspect who was unarmed and naked. This is our first look at the body camera video. The portion released is 42 seconds long. It starts with someone telling the man wanted in connection with an earlier domestic incident to get out of the dumpster where police had surrounded him and to get on the ground. Once he does that, there is some yelling. Then you hear what sounds like three consecutive shots, followed by a fourth a few seconds later. By that time, a canine already has hold of the suspect. Chief Axel said the department conducted a review of the shooting while asking these questions. These questions. Are, was the force in line with our policies and training? Was it reasonable? Was it necessary? And did the, ref the force reflect our department values? Unfortunately, an officer fell short of those standards on Saturday night. And as a result, I have taken swift, decisive, and serious action to address this incident. And while Axel said he can't legally say what the action is, he says it's in the best interest of the community and the department. The BCA is in charge of the investigation. The man is recovering at Regents Hospital. In St. Paul, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The state attorney general and Washington County attorney will now review the case. We are told Ramsey County attorney John Choi asked for their review because his office works regularly with the St. Paul police.